Welcome back to Eyewitness News this morning. Here's the number to call if you have a legal question for Charlie O'Hara, 436-1212. We do already have one caller on the line, so caller, if you're there, go ahead with your question right now for Charlie. Caller, if you're there, go ahead. Yes. Uh, my question is, my daughter was adopted by my grandparents and my grandfather mm -hmm. and says passed and they put her in the system. Is there a way I could get her back? Well, I, I mean, whenever when you say there's a way you can get her back, yes, you can. Now, whether you'll qualify to do that, there's a lot of legal things involved. Once someone's adopted, they're actually... The, 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 the people that have adopted them are the, the natural, the real parents now, not the natural, but the real parents. And if you come back as a natural parent and want that, the court's going to have to go through a procedure and make sure you're fit to have those children back. So it can happen, but it's going to take some real uh, time and the courts are going to have to be involved. I was going to ask, how much time could that potentially take if you're going through family court for something like that? Well, it just depends on the circumstances mm -hmm. and everything happening, but I would say it would not be short. Hey, one question I wanted to ask you, Charlie, is about uh, Governor Brownback's executive order. We've talked about this before on the show, and we've said before you've had people coming up to you concerned that churches would be sued if they did not wish to perform same-sex marriages. Uh, this executive order has made sure that w won't happen. It seems somewhat confusing when they're not necessarily uh, related in terms of legality. Well, I, I think there's a real confusion from people. I think all the Supreme Court has done, and people really need to, to, to understand that law, is rule mm -hmm. that it is legal for gay people to be married. That's it. It has not gone and, and violated the First Amendment and ordered churches to do things. Now, the churches confuse some of those things because churches actually get sometimes involved in businesses which make money and when they get involved in those they have to treat their employees under the constitution which means you'd have to treat gay people equally with other people however if you're if you're a religious organization and you're deciding who to marry the government can't tell you how to do that other than it's one one person marrying the other and you can't have more than one person but they can't make any restrictions on on, on freedom of religion that's what the first amendment says and we need to keep that in mind. I think uh, the Governor Brownback probably wanted to just make clear to all the people that are confused that he is going mm -hmm. to make sure that stands, but that is the law. All right. Thanks so much, uh -huh. Charlie. Appreciate you being on here. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in just a moment with another check of your weather.